Hi there everybody, so in today's video I have this uh, key um, that belongs to a BMW E90 uh, 2008 actually it's from uh, E91 but same key and basically it's stopped working it's no longer operating opening or, or shutting the doors um, you can still use it to start the car and whatnot but um, typically what happens is the battery dies inside it's a rechargeable butter battery <laughs> no butter uh rechargeable battery which uh in time it it dies but uh, if you think about it it's a 2008 car so that battery has been there for quite a long time um so you can't really change them because these are sealed um however if you savagely cut the key open then you can actually change the battery um, if the battery is your problem sometimes the fobs actually go faulty as well um, so I'm gonna try the battery replacement and see if that helps I have done many of these before and it's usually the battery um, so this is the actual key and I already savagely cut it open as you can see I cut it using a Dremel kit so I use that Dremel there with that disc um, and carefully cut along this line here carefully cut along this line because you don't want to when you're cutting you don't really want to damage the board the electronic board in there if you damage that then uh, your key will be finished it won't be operating anymore um, but it takes a little while and persistence um, you need to go along very carefully as you cut along the side you will start seeing this board um, and also you want to cut a little bit more at an angle sort of towards towards this side so you want your Dremel to be cutting more up to that on that end there because uh, it seems that um, it seems the board is is sitting flush against this side of that line it's kind of sitting flush on that side so when you take this out you can see the line is more or less at the same height of the board on that side so I, I cut with the Dremel um, a little bit at an angle going towards this side as I said anyway if you are going to venture and do that then just cut along like I said very carefully slowly patiently and you should be able to get this open and then you can remove this board from here somehow uh, might need my two hands okay sorry about that so get the board out you will find the buttons on this side all the buttons are operating properly sometimes they the actual button also goes faulty the, this little thing here and it is it needs resoldering but in this case it's not the buttons the buttons are actually okay they're not moving they're okay uh, but like I said I changed many of these and what you need to do is get a new battery a rechargeable battery so I'm gonna the next step I'm gonna get the rechargeable battery and we're gonna solder it on here and also we're gonna need to buy a replacement casing because obviously you can't reuse that <laughs> and so we're just gonna get a new casing out of eBay or something like that 
make sure you remove your key before you cut this obviously just press on that button there press that button and take the key out so you can reuse your key I have the key here so let's get get on with this okay so um, if you got this far butchering your key um, then you can get rid of this although we might need we may want to take this little um, logo here I'm not sure how it comes out but I'll figure that out if not you can get little logos from eBay as well because this is the replacement key I got and this key um, doesn't have a logo so it has a blade that is plain but I'm gonna use the old one anyway but if you lost yours or some or you need a spare you can get this one cut and then you have this key this one actually came with a battery so if you have a look in at this battery it says not that I can focus very well but it says rechargeable battery on it it's a 2025 rechargeable battery which is um, is the same size as the older one although the older one is a 2020 actually um, the other thing that you need to check uh, is just to make sure that um, you just need to make sure the battery you got is gonna be the same it's got the same uh, fitting as the one so let's just zoom in a little bit here if I can okay so you just want to make sure that the battery you have has the pins on the same uh, these two pins here are on the same position as these two because some of these batteries if you buy these batteries separately um the pins are slightly different so with positioned they might be this pin might be sitting there and this one might be sitting here or in a slightly different angle so when you buy yours just make sure it's the same as the one you're going to fit um also you could just get if you're just buying the battery separately just get the 2020 the same as this one uh, although 2025 it's is okay as well um, it's the same uh, width or the same circumference size it's just a little bit thicker but that shouldn't be a problem um, and you're going to need a soldering iron something like this to desolder this here now uh, I'm not the best at using this soldering iron but you just need a little bit and that will come off um, and then same with the other side so I'm kind of pulling it here <laughs> with my finger while just getting that bit there so that's it that's out so like I said I'm not an expert at using this there are experts out there and you need to be careful with this because if you get distracted and you touch something it will quickly get burnt this is really hot um, I burnt myself a few times I burnt the carpet I burnt my finger I burnt because if you touch up here it's also extremely hot and sometimes you get distracted with something and you move this across and you end up burning something I burned my trousers, I burned my bed. Um, to be honest, I'm not the best at using this, but 
we're only doing a couple of things here so hopefully I'll survive um, so I'm just just put it putting them two pins into the holes again just uh, hit this up a little bit and push the battery through that's gone through same with this side that's it both ends are in and uh, just give this one make sure this is if you lose a little bit of the of the solder there you might need a little bit from a new wire there we are that's a bit better there because it was just looking there was like there was a hole there and obviously if we have uh, any problems there then that might not charge properly okay so finish with that I can disconnect that soldering iron, make sure it cools down and don't drop it on your carpet. So that's it. Now we can uh, get this in there. Also, I have a, a voltmeter here. So if you check the voltage on the old battery here I'm getting right, let's uh, do it this way around 0 0.6 volts 0 0.6 0 0.7 and if we check the voltage on the new battery it's 3.9 let's check it this way around there we are 3.9 volts so that's just to show you how sorry i didn't uh, exactly have that in camera but that's what it is three point nine and the other one battery Is 0 0.8 or so 0 0.7 um, so that's why that is had its day now so it doesn't really matter these batteries are uh, three volt batteries um, and uh, although this one is a little bit thicker it's the same voltage it's the same as that is rated at three volts or actually this one is uh, rated at 3.6 volts this one it's 3 volts but but that's okay it, it will work just fine okay so now we can fit that there and we can put this you see the buttons here these little buttons you, you also get them in the kit there's one of them if you needed to replace them um, there's another two in my bag here <laughs> but I don't need to replace those so the good thing about the new key is that you can actually just uh, clip it back on and 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 unclip it if you needed to change the battery or change the buttons or anything like that you don't need to cut it like the old key or the original key um, so that's pretty much it now uh, uh, we're gonna test this key on the car and uh, make sure it's working and I'll show you guys that it is working before I actually make the video 
before I actually post the video. Okay, so here's the car in question. That's the key there. The one we changed the battery, the one with no logo, that's the spare key. So let's have a look. So this is the, uh, the one we changed and it's working just fine. Same as the spare. So um, that's pretty much it. If you have a, a remote that stops working, it might be just because the battery is dead. And that's how we change it. So um, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.